everybody, I am that nursing prop and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing even more drops per minute practice questions. So let's get into the first one. We have the nurse. They are preparing to infuse a 250 ml unit of packed red blood cells over two hours. The drop factor of the IV tubing is 15 drops per ml. The nurse should adjust the flow rate to deliver how many drops per minute. So that's what we're looking for in our answer. We're looking for drops over minutes. So let's set up our equation. We need drops in our numerator. Where do we see it here in the problem? Right there. 15 drops over 1 ml. And then what are we giving? 250 mls over two hours. And then we're going to convert hours to minutes because we want to end up with minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes. So we'll cancel our mls, we'll cancel our hours, we'll end up with drops over minutes. Punch it into your calculator, do the math, and you get like 31.25, but we can't give 0.25 drops, so we'll just round that to 31. So that's our answer for this question. 31 drops per minute. Let's do another. A nurse is preparing to infuse 150 ml D5W IV to infuse over three hours. The drop factor of the IV tubing is 10 drops per ml. The nurse should adjust the flow rate to deliver how many drops per minute. So that's what we're looking for in our answer. So we want drops over minutes. So where do we see drops here in our equation? Right there. So we're going to do 10 drops per 1 ml. And we're going to infuse 150 mls over three hours. And then we need to convert hours to minutes. So 60 minutes in one hour. So we will cancel out our mls, we'll cancel out our hours, we'll end up with drops in our numerator and minutes in our denominator. Punch it in your calculator, do the math, and you get 8.3. But again, we can't give 0.3 of a drop, right? So this is going to round. And so our answer is 8 drops per minute. A nurse is preparing to administer Medication A IV piggyback over 20 minutes. Available is Medication A 1 gram in 100 ml D5W. The drop factor for your manual IV tubing is 15 drops per ml. So the nurse should set the IV infusion to deliver how many drops per minute. So we're looking for drops per minute. So that'll go in our answer. And if it's in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. So where do we see it in our problem? Right there. So 15 drops per 1 ml. And what else do we know? We know we want to do 100 mls over 20 minutes. And that's all we have to do to set up this equation. We don't need to do any converting because it's already in minutes and not hours. And you might be wondering, what about this 1 gram? That's not relevant to what the question is asking, because we're not asking about the medication, we're asking about the amount, so it comes in a 100 ml back. So this is how you set up the equation. You'll cross out the amounts. We'll end up with drops on top and minutes on the bottom, just like we want. Punch it in, do the math, and we get 75 drops per minute. Let's do one more. Last one. The patient is prescribed D5LR 150 mLs by IV infusion for 12 hours. 
The drop factor of the tubing is 20 drops per ml. The nurse should set the IV infusion to deliver how many drops per minute. So we're looking for drops per minute. So we need to have drops in our numerator. So where do we see that? Right here. So 20 drops over 1 ml. And then what else do we know? We know 150 mLs for 12 hours. And we need to convert those hours to minutes. So one hour is 60 minutes. So we'll just cancel out our mLs, cancel out our hours. That leaves us with drops over minutes, which is exactly what we want. So punch it in your calculator, do the math, and you get four. You actually get like 4.1, etc., but we don't do that with drops, right? So we round it, so our answer is four drops per minute. So that was my video. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know, and if not, I'll see you on the next one.